So what I was saying to you, Gemini, before the camera cut off, and I'm going to try to merge these videos, and if I don't have success there, it's called, if it's taking too long, I want to get this video for you as soon as possible, it'll just look like part one and part two, right? So either way, like I said before, I had to pause and give you all a hand clap because again, it, this is this is a perfect example of no weapon formed against me shall prosper. I'm serious. Somebody used those same swords that were stabbed in your back and they can come through uh, being in a relationship with the narcissist. And a relationship doesn't necessarily, doesn't necessarily have to be romantic. It could have been romantic and it could have been professional. You could have worked for a narcissist or been in some kind of, a, like that's a professional relationship or a romantic relationship with a narcissist or a gaslighter. Somebody gaslighting, you know, the title of this book is Gaslighting Violence Not Talked About, like how to recognize, break free and recover from hidden manipulations, narcissist, narcissist, and emotional abuse, right? Somebody could have broken away from that type of energy. And because you're now going to be in a powerful position, for some of you all, you may be waiting on to hear something back, you know, about a powerful position that nobody could stop or block you from. The only thing that delayed it, because they, they couldn't block it. This was already predestined for somebody. Somebody's been hoping and wishing, hey, I want to get transferred to another department, but it's going to be a promotion for somebody. They couldn't block or stop it, right? Or if you were in a romantic relationship and somebody was running a smear campaign and then you found out something was exposed about them, you said, that's all right. It's a lot of things I can expose about them, but I'm not going to do it. I'm taking the high road. God said, good, because I'm going to put you in a space where it's going to really shut them down, like really shut them down because they couldn't control their frustration, their low vibrating, their, their insecurities. They couldn't control those things. So that's all right. I see you either getting married to somebody that they're going to be so frustrated that, oh my God, it wasn't them right? It, that you didn't marry them. That's going to be the karma that they put out into the universe. Some people don't even realize they were sleeping with the enemy. Some people don't even realize they were working for the enemy, right? Somebody who saw something or saw the sun shining bright on you, like something in them was so low vibrating. That's why, oh my gosh, like I said to you, kudos, 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 kudos for taking the high road. Kudos for taking the high road. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. Just wow, wow, wow. Mm, mm, mm. The sad thing about this <clears throat> and the lesson that you're going to learn, the sad thing about this, this is that you kept trying to adapt. The lesson that you learn is that once I see, once my intuition, you all are too smart of a sign for this to have gone on for as long as it went on. Um, the lesson that you learn is that I don't need to adapt to everything. I need to see the power inside of me. Somebody is highly intuitive. You need to start going with your feelings. That's what, that's going to be the thing that's going to, to really, like I said, you're already a hardworking person. This is not a person who was born with a silver spoon in their mouth. This is a hardworking, smart person who didn't, who somehow along the way you lost your power and it affected your money. You're, you're, you, you felt like you lost power emotionally. Somebody, like I said, um, you, you, somebody, like I said, you, you were not listening to that fire inside of you. You weren't listening to your intuition. You weren't going with your feelings about something, right? Yeah. So somebody was really manipulating you, but it doesn't matter. Here we have the hang woman. It's something it's like the hang woman and hang man, right? So this is about your patience. This is about you um, transitioning. This is about your transformation. This is about um, you being patient with yourself and this whole process this is where you're going to get your rest. This is new moon energy. And I said before, it doesn't matter what phase the moon is in. I mean, it doesn't matter what sign the moon is in. When it's new moon phase, that's your time of rest, reset, manifest, writing out your dreams. No matter how big those dreams are, you are writing out those dreams. You are um, very careful about who you share those dreams with because by now you should know I'm not going to just automatically just tell people that I know who weren't genuinely happy for me when I told them good news about just little things that's happening in my life. 
I know I can't tell those people. Sometimes you're going to have to just tell God and something is because you got to get it out some kind of way because your energy is directed out by default as a masculine sign. And I'm talking to men and women. Journal it. Journal it. God, this is what I want to manifest. Just just for seven days, God, this is what I want to manifest. And when we get to that 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 first quarter moon phase where you can still be pulled backwards like okay wow this is a lot I, I put a this is a big dream that i have god said just listen you told me you just gonna have to pop out on some people like hey ta-da i'm in a leadership position now like oh but why didn't you tell me you were applying for the position yeah i, I needed to just keep that between me and god and let whoever think whatever. It doesn't matter. But again, that's what I'm saying. Or ta-da with your new spouse. Let people think whatever. Let whoever think whatever. Right? Ta-da, I'm in a new business relationship. Like I said, you keeping it close to the cuff. Somebody's going to learn how to stop telling people everything. By now, you should know who you can trust and who you can't trust. So let's see what else we got going on here as we close out your reading. This is the second part of your reading. This is the second part of your reading. And like I said before, if I can't, um, editing should be kind of, editing three, two videos together is pretty simple. But again, if I'm having any issues whatsoever, you'll see two different videos go up, but they'll be labeled one of two and then two of two, okay? All right, so let's keep it moving forward, Gemini. Let's keep it moving forward. Let's keep it moving forward. Sing. Yeah, somebody going to be singing a new harmonious song in their spirit, their universe. Yeah, somebody singing a new song because I'm telling you, somebody's going to learn. You had to just learn how to keep things close to the cuff and stop just trying to, you know, stop going against your intuition. That's what somebody had to learn how to do. Stop going against their intuition, trying to go with the flow of, of a human, right? Here we have Gemini. Communication is key. I'm telling you, during this time, when you're communicating with source about what you want to manifest, don't tell anybody, Gemini, nobody. And if you're a card reader, you pull cards and your, all your cards look like, okay, you pull out all the pentacles cards, right? And you're like, oh my God, okay. Okay, am I going to hit the lottery? <laughs> like, whoo, what are all these money cards out here? Keep it to yourself. Keep it to yourself. All right, keep it to yourself. People are going to learn. They're going to learn to stop telling everybody everything, new moon phase, because not everybody can handle what source is trying to send your way. And so, yeah, like I said, just be patient. You'll see. You will see. And you'll see that person, like, you know, and if they try to call you, let's say you got a, a, a new spouse or whatever, they're trying to call you. First of all, their number should be blocked, so they shouldn't even have access to you. But let's say you picking up new contracts and you... You know, you working and you are in a business relationship or whatever. If you happen to come across their path, hey, they don't have that level of access to you anymore. If you have to work with them, they outside of that. They outside of that. Um, remember, you're on your throne. So they're, they don't have that level of access to you that they once did. They're just coming back to be messy because they're going through a tower moment. Here we have the number 11. I am intuitive. You have keen awareness of what is happening around you. That's that, that right there, the number 11. Between those two pillars, right? You stepped into your own light, right? Um, you have keenness awareness of what is happening around you. A strong intuition is your gift and will help you understand the unspoken feelings and thoughts of others. This insight allows you to be a great guide and supporter. That's right. Great guide and supporter. Most High God, what's one last message we have for my Geminis before we close out their reading? What is one last message mm -mm 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 -mm. that we have for my Geminis before we close out this reading? What is one last message, Most High God, that we have for my Geminis before we close out this reading? What is one last message, Most High God, that we have for my Geminis? What's one last message? Uh huh. Yes. Ten of Cups. Mm hmm. See, because you're happy within, right? You had to leave something behind. It's something about when God exposes things and you know certain things about people and you can still keep your mouth closed. You're like, nope, let me take the high road. Especially if you found out that they've been talking about you behind your back and just, just had horrible intentions for you behind their back and everything that they try to do to you backfires on them and everything works out for you. 
perfect harmony. I see somebody meeting their person and having a wonderful life, despite something from your past try to just mess everything up for you. That is what I have for you. So keep the faith. Like I said, we have the hang woman card. On some cards it says the hang man. Some cards it says the hang one. But this is you and your transition. So things may feel like you're in limbo right now. But trust me, it's already happening. You're readjusting to your new cycle without somebody. And so again, for them going through their tower moment, Gemini, not your problem. Just keep on moving forward towards your happy life, towards your throne. That's what I have for you. And I'll see you in a couple of days. Bye.